Hello, Top War fans, and today I wanted to go over equipment, which uh, I'll back out of here real fast and show you where it's at. You're going to go to your arsenal. You're going to click your arsenal. Then you're going to go to equipment, and this unlocks once you're level 65. So as far as your equipment goes, the way that you get equipment is you can actually purchase equipment or you can produce materials which this is, of course, the most cost-effective free-to-play way, um, as well as cost-effective-wise if you have just uh, time that I think is the, the best way to earn. Uh, I've had a couple of comments as far as if you can't play free-to-play, then it, the game is horrible or whatever. And I'm like, uh, you know, there, there are so many options as far as from a free-to-play point. It just takes time to be able to unlock, to be able to earn uh, different types of resources that you need as far as shards, as far as equipment goes. It takes time. And so this is your produce material tab. And right now I'm producing some steel. Uh, I wanted to go over, of course, what most of the craft equipment uh, encompasses. Now, as far as produce material, you can also then merge your items before I go over that. And uh, if you do make a mistake, you can split your items um, to be able to downgrade your items back to the uh, original forms or the previous forms. Uh, but it is going to cost you some gold to be able to do that. So uh, let's go back to produce. Right now I'm producing. It takes uh, two hours and 30 minutes, I believe, to be able to produce plus 10 of any of these individual items. Um, and you will see on the bottom, of course, how many you have in stock that you're producing. Uh, going to be producing as well so that way it helps out a little bit as well um, as you can see I have no steel in stock that's because I ended up merging my steel all the way up to uh, blue steel um, which uh, I guess it just doesn't give an actual saying of what they are uh, now drawings uh, the blueprints of course is going to take if you do end up getting blueprints it's going to take 30 uh, shards to be able to unlock one blueprint. I have not figured out where or during any events that they have given uh, for blueprints uh, shards to be able to be unlocked. I have strictly gotten the blueprints straight up. Um, so I don't know where you could earn them uh, on this server specifically, which is 796. Um, but uh, maybe that was something in the past that they uh, decided to have. Now, craft equipment, this is what I was going to say I was going to prepare you for. Uh, steel and bolts are going to be your number one, uh, or screws are going to be your number one go-to that you're going to start producing at level 65 to make sure that you have enough equipment to be able to produce for these higher level and higher tier um, weapons that are needed, uh, the materials that are needed. So remember, like I said, you also have to have the blueprints, uh, which you can earn through events, and uh, you can also purchase through events as well. Um, as far as the blueprints go, earning, like I said, there's several events that are out there. Uh, I would definitely go ahead and just take the time to make sure that you get those blueprints uh, from events and go ahead and start getting them now uh, at the early levels of, you know, if you're in 40s or 50s or whatever. Uh, through the events, and then you'll have something to work toward at level 65. Now, this is what I wanted to go over as far as on the next one, the uh, armor, uh, which uh, takes some glass, but you can also notice there's screws and steel. Uh, screws and steel. And each color code you can see is the same exact materials that are needed as well, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Um... This one is steel, rubber, and batteries. Um, these are all the same. And then steel, rubber, and batteries. Steel, rubber, and batteries. So the last one after this is the transistors. This is steel, tungstens, and chips. Now you notice that there's a difference in here. Uh, this one is steel, uh, microchips or transistors. Um, 
are required at the other one, but for this one it's steel. So um, that one was a little bit different that you can prepare for. And then on the transistors, uh, the pulse jammer, the fire control chip, and the high precision navigation chip. Now, the pulse jammer, the only way that I've found out so far, uh, you can notice that it's a 2.27 FF gold, which is immense amount of gold to be able to save up or to get. Um, I could see why it's so valuable as well. Unit HP bonus plus 100%, uh, plus 40% attack bonus, as well as uh, incapacitate, incapacitates two random targets at the beginning of the battle and they will not be able to perform a regular attack last one turn. I'm not sure if that is like a perm thing that uh, once you have one unit out that it ends up doing each turn incapacitates at the beginning of the battle. So I don't know if it's like each turn or each turn is a battle uh, or if it's the whole entire uh, scenario is a battle. So this could be really overpowered or it could not be uh, as effective as what I was thinking it is. Um, the only way to be able to get this is through VIP 12 that I've been able to see, which I'll go over VIP. Uh, rank 12, as you can see, blue pulse or pulse jammer blueprints. Uh, use it to make the pulse jammer in the arsenal. So, okay, so it lasts one turn. So that's something that they've added on there, that it lasts one turn. Um, basically, uh, that uh, it might not be as overpowered, but it's still a nice little buff um, that looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I'll be reaching VIP 12 I don't plan on spending too much more money at all uh, on this game, unfortunately. Uh, as much as I've liked it, I'm about to be level 80, and I've gotten to a good place to where uh, I'm going to be competitive on my server. And uh, there's a couple people that are overpowered over me, but they've spent so much more money than me that it's ridiculous that I don't know if I'm going to... I don't really want to be able to invest that much more money. I'm going to continue to grow and play from a more free-to-play approach. Uh, I haven't even actually bought any gems recently um, just because of where I'm at right now, and there's nothing that I really need right now. Um, there's a Lucky Discount store that's available um, for this event that I'm waiting for a 60 or 70% off uh, special to be able to purchase anything, and that's pretty much what's up that I'm uh, doing right now. That's my strategy. Um, so there you have it about equipment. I won't bother you with anything else. Uh, this video was supposed to be all about equipment only. I ran it there a little bit, but I hope you enjoyed. And if you uh, have any more questions or anything about uh, or comments about equipment specifically, just let me know. Thanks so much for viewing.